she has vertigo, but the source doesn't appear to be the inner ear. Well, she's been under long-term chiropractic care, so I'm thinking, could it be the cerebellum? Well, the cerebellum collects mechanical information from the way we live, exist, and function in gravity. So if there is a mechanical problem anywhere, it could go to here and it could go to here. So the result is, I kind of check her out mechanically. She's under chiropractic care. She's under the care of another chiropractor. And my opinion is, the person has done a really good job. I really can't find much, certainly not enough to account for chronic vertigo. And so the next thing I, I do is I check specifically the upper cervical spine because a mechanical problem anywhere in the body will first have to go to the cerebellum, which is a polysynaptic relay before it gets to the vestibular nucleus, which means every time you have another relay, you can attenuate the communication. So the result is it, this is less of a probability than this. Upper cervical go monosynaptically into the vestibular nucleus. So consequently, I have these ways to check out the upper cervical. Um, my assessment of mechanical function is a combination of both static position as well as movement parameters. So I'm always looking for whether or not there is a postural distortion or whether there is a motion deficit on one side or the other. I check out her upper cervical spine and I can find nothing. I think that the chiropractor she's been doing has done a, a really good job. I think that this is well done. I think that this is well done. I don't think this is it, even though the mother does, but I s still have one more option.